The accident on Sylvan Lake cost an 11-year-old boy his life and left his sisters fighting for theirs. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live in Royal Oak tonight where the two sisters are hospitalized. And Julie, how are the girls doing? Well, Dave and Smitha, they're here at Royal Oak Beaumont in critical condition. A tough and unbelievable day out on that lake today. Boats and people crowded Sylvan Lake today for what was supposed to be a fun day in the sun. I just got finished cutting the grass and I heard a loud bang. Rick Kassoff says he'll never forget the terrifying scream he heard next. The man yelling, help, please, help, God, help. And it, was, it was blood curdling, the sound. A boat hit three children on Sylvan Lake who were in a tube. Everyone was on the beach um, and they were... Everyone was really distraught running around. There was people helping out all over the place. The kids, an 11-year-old boy and his two sisters, ages 10 and 6, were on a ski tube being towed behind their 48-year-old father's jet ski when they were hit. We saw them, you know, carry some people out on stretchers. One person had their head completely bandaged. I could see from here, and this wasn't a pretty sight. Neighbors say doctors living on the lake and others nearby who saw the accident ran to the children to administer CPR. The kids were not... Not, not as, uh, you know, it's not, not as responsive as they wanted. Yeah. The family from West Bloomfield Township was at their summer cottage. Neighbors also tell us mom had been on shore. I don't know that she's seen it happen, but she's seen the aftermath of it and seen her kids out in the water. So it was very, very, she was screaming. She was very, very, very upsetting, the whole thing. We're told the 56-year-old Sylvan Lake man who hit the three children is just as distraught tonight. He lives right down the, uh, around on the lake, supposed to be a very good, been boating for a long, long time, very good boater. What happened? I don't know what happened. And that's exactly what the Oakland County Sheriff's Department is trying to figure out tonight. They say they do not believe alcohol was a factor, and sources do tell us that that 56-year-old driver of the boat told police that he just didn't see the kids. We're live from Royal Oak, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Very, very sad indeed, and you have to imagine on a day like today that uh, there would have been many, many people, many boats uh, out on that lake as well. Absolutely. Julie, thank you. And we